All right, let's go to the categories. We got the classes. Now the classes and location tracking are another field similar to the tags that allow you an added level of, of tracking, particularly on the income statement. So if I wanted to track items on the income statement by location uh, or, or by department or something like that, then I can turn on one of, they act in a similar fashion. They have some differences, but they act similar. And then I can print my income statement out and, and break it out columns by location and by class and then have a total column. So it's really a neat tool, but only applicable in certain, in certain situations. So if you have different departments, you can actually use it if you have both your business and your personal stuff that you're tracking in QuickBooks, which isn't normally recommended, but it's possible to do with the class tracking to break that out, especially if you just have a Schedule C uh, sole proprietorship. We have courses on that if you want to check that out, but uh, we're going to keep that off for the default. Note that if you're adding levels of, of information by like location or department, then you've got a whole lot of options you want to think about though. One is that you can have sub accounts by location or department. Or two, you can turn on class tracking or location tracking, which is gonna give you another column on the income statement uh, by location or department. Or uh, or you can use the tags, which is another way that you can add some some level of tracking information. So, so you wanna kind of think about those. There's a lot of different variant uses that you can use those for and the options that they have are getting you can also the same with the projects or a job cost system you can use projects to do some so there's various ways to to do the same thing these times which is great but can also lead to paralysis <laughs> of too many different ways to do something so you want to make sure you pick one 